Welcome to my YouTube channel, The ORB. Today, we are going to show you the top tips and tricks of iPhone SE 2020. Never miss a moment. While you're capturing your photos, and if you want to capture a video at that moment, just quickly press your shutter button and the video would automatically start recording. You don't have to go to the video, then press the record button. You can instantly start your video recording by pressing the shutter button while you are taking photos. If you have a habit of opening a lot of tabs and not closing them, you have an option. Go to settings, safari, 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 and close tabs. You can automatically set when to close tabs after one day, after one week or even after a month. You don't have to go manually worrying about closing your tabs. Apple also includes a cool feature which helps in prolonging your battery life. That is when you charge your battery from 0 to 80% at 80% of notification appears saying battery sufficiently charged. After 80 to 100% the charging speeds are significantly slowed this is because charging a battery at a higher speed damages it in the long term though in the short term it would be beneficial but if you are looking at battery health that is really affected this is one of my favorite features which i often use say i'm typing something and i made an error i want to correct it i don't have to manually go and place the cursor there i can just simply Press on space and move the cursor by dragging my hand on the keyboard like this. It comes in really handy while you're chatting to someone. You quickly grab the space bar and slide the cursor. When you charge your phone 400 times from 0 to 100, your battery life reduces to 80%. And at that point, if you have a warranty, you, you get a free battery replacement. If not, you, you have to pay and get your battery replaced. To check how many times you have charged your battery, you have to go to settings, privacy, analytics and improvements. Analytics data. Then you go to this log aggregated and you have to search for the latest date that is for me it is 07-12-2020 log aggregate go to log aggregate and this is a tedious task I'll just copy it then what we have to do we'll go to your notes Now what you have to do is go to the search, find a note, sorry, then you will type battery cycle c-o-u-n-t and see here you get battery, battery cycle count 117. This is the amount of times I have charged my iPhone from 0 to 100. Also you have a feature to protect your Also you have a feature to protect your notes. So no one reads them even if you hand them your open hand them your phone and your phone is unlocked. You go to lock notes. Lock. I know how annoying it is when you open an app and the app keeps up asking for your feedback and review. You can switch it off by going to settings, app store. In app ratings and review, you can just switch this off and the app would never ask you for your rating or review again. The app would never ask With you for iOS 14 your... comes a new feature known as double tap or triple tap. You tap the back of your device twice or thrice and set it to a particular function. In this case, uh, double tapping opens my app switcher. You can also set it to different uh, functions such as opening the camera, taking a screenshot and many other to turn this feature on you have to go to the to turn this feature on you have to go to accessibility 
touch back tap here i have set the double tap to open the app switcher but you can set it to go to home mute or take a screenshot etc to quickly turn on the dark mode you go to control center long press your brightness and here you get the option for turn it switching on the dark mode and just like that we have switched to the dark mode if you are doing some task and want to undo it you just have to shake your iphone twice and you get option to undo the task you just press undo and the whole thing is back as it is and for my favorite feature known as voice control i'll show you what it does hey siri turn on voice control show name tap safari show name tap address apple.com show name tap go show name tap continue as you saw how amazing this voice control is you can do almost anything with this voice control and you don't have to ever touch your device say if you are uh, busy in some work and or your hands are dirty you don't have to touch your device you just turn on your voice control and operate your mobile using your voice this feature is also quite handy say you are reading a pdf or surfing through the web and you want to go to the top of the page you don't have to swipe instead what you do is you just uh, tap the date on the top of your phone and the page is automatically uh, back on the top and the last feature is the auto focus lock to use this feature you just have to lock the focus on to your subject which in this case is our tommy and whenever you take the tommy out of the frame and bring it back the phone without delay would focus on the subject which is our tommy in this case and if you enjoyed my video please do tell me by writing on the comment section and any suggestion you have please do tell them please do like share and subscribe for more thank you